Welcome back guys, this is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal, and uh, today I thought it would be a lot of fun to uh, do a video and give some tips for beginning guitarists. And I know this is a, a thing that gets thrown around by a lot of people and kind of beat down into the dirt a bit, um, but starting out on guitar can be one of those kind of things that, you know, maybe some people get discouraged easily and they give up easy, or maybe they're just not getting the right, uh, you know, the right training out the gate. I'm going to give some of my tips. These are kind of my top five tips for what I feel a beginning guitarist should kind of strive to do. That uh, I'm not going to teach you playing techniques in this video. There's plenty. Of, if you want to learn to play, uh, maybe we can get into that in a future video. But these are things you need to think about before you ever even pick up a guitar. And I think a lot of people tend to go wrong in this in that they, they try to do too much too soon and they don't try to get the basics down. So I want to go over the things that I think a beginning guitarist should have under their belt before they even try to learn anything on the guitar. And, uh, and you know, so number one, number one, guys, buy a guitar that's decent. A lot of people will go out and because they don't really want to, um, you know, they're not sure if they're going to pick up on the guitar or not. So they don't want to spend a lot of money on an instrument. And I get that. It's understandable. Guys, look for a used guitar. Uh, try to try to find a decent, respectable guitar. Uh, you know, find yourself a Fender Mexican Strat or maybe a nice Epiphone Les Paul, something that's not too terribly, uh, you know, on the cheap end, but not too expensive either. The prices on electric guitars can vary all the way down to like 150 bucks, all the way up to millions, depending on what you want to spend. You don't have to go out and buy a $5,000 Les Paul because you want to learn how to play guitar, but don't buy a bottom of the barrel like cheap guitar. Buy a guitar that's going to hold adjustments, that's going to hold its tuning, and it's going to stay in tune, and that will have a level of playability that will allow you to know when you're getting better and allow you to really explore what the guitar can really offer. I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. They buy a packaged guitar that comes with a cheap little amp and a cheap little guitar, and they have the instant gratification of, now, guess what? I'm a guitarist! You know, they have the cheap guitar, the cheap amp, they go home, and they... What's the next thing they do? They go and they try to look in a Mel Bay book and they rattle off a chord and it doesn't sound right to them. So to their ear, they don't know why it sounds bad, but they're instantly just dissatisfied with what they're trying to do. Okay, so moving on to number two, guys, for the love of God, please invest in a tuner. I mean, buy yourself a decent guitar, Get your, look, if you don't want to learn electric guitar, you want to learn on an acoustic, fine. Buy a decent acoustic. Uh, you can go that route as well. There's lots of use options for acoustics as well. Get yourself a decent tuner. Uh, a good tuner is going to cost you anywhere from, you can get a cheap one that's pretty good for about 30, 40 bucks, and they go on all the way up to you know several thousand depending on how nice of one you get. But starting out, invest some money in a quality tuner and make an effort to tune your guitar and keep your guitar in tune. It's going to help you a lot. Here's another reason you want to keep your guitar in tune. Some people may say, oh, well, why should I bother trying to tune my guitar super well? Because I don't know how to play anyway. I'm not going to, I'm going to make a bunch of awful sound and racket anyway because I'm just learning how to play. Wrong answer. You're also training your ear to hear what that perfect pitch is. So by tuning to a consistent 440 and by tuning the guitar to a consistent pitch, you are training your muscles in your hand to take on the same exact tension on the strings each time. You don't want the guitar being out of tune because you want the tension to be even across the strings and you also want your ear to hear what an in-tune guitar sounds like. You, you want to just constantly be reminded what that low E is, what that high E is. And then as time, you'll, you'll begin to develop your ear and you'll be able to tune a guitar without the need of a tuner, at least close enough to jam in your bedroom or whatever. But getting a tuner is important, guys. Keep your guitar in tune because you're only going to do yourself a dis discredit by playing a guitar that's out of tune and by buying a cheap guitar that, one, if you take it to a luthier and you have a setup done on it to make it play better, you're not going to hold a good setup if it's a really, really cheap guitar. The electronics and some of the electric guitars that are real cheap just aren't that great. My advice would be to get a guitar out the gate that will stay in tune, that will be really hard to, to have to upgrade past. So get yourself a guitar that's going to last you a long time and you can play it and love it and enjoy it. I mean, like my first guitar I ever owned is right behind me. This is my first real guitar. It's a little Fender Mexican Strat and it's got years of playing wear on it. So I still have 
my original guitar that I started to learn on, and I learned most everything I know on that strap. So the thing is, I bought a good guitar out the gate. It's all I could afford. I mean, at the time, I think they were like 300 bucks, which was a lot of money. You know, 20, 20, 25 years ago, 300 bucks is a pretty good little bit of money for a guitar if you don't know if you're going to want to stick to it or not. So that's my advice there. Grab yourself a decent guitar, get yourself a tuner. Okay, where a lot of people really go wrong with guitar is they have it in their mind. They go, okay, well, I want to learn this song. They go to a guitar teacher and they say, teach me this song. And they want to go, you know. Congratulations, you're a guitar player, right? But the thing is, look, if learning guitar, what drives you to learn the guitar is to take a song that you love and learn it, then I guess what, you know, that's one of those areas we can meet in the middle on. It's okay. If that's what makes you want to play the guitar, you heard some really killer song on the radio and you go, you know what, I want to learn how to play that on a guitar. Or I want to impress my girlfriend and I want to learn a really cool song. I want to learn some John Mayer so that I can impress my girlfriend. Look, that's cool, dude. If that's what you want to do to learn how to play guitar, then more power to you. You should. You want to do it, do it. But the thing is, where a lot of people go wrong, they'll want to learn one or two chords and they'll want to you know, learn a song, but they don't want to learn like the theory behind it. And it's good to you know, have an equal amount of book knowledge to go along with the, the physical aspects of playing a guitar as well. So I guess one bit of advice, number three would be, don't set the bar too high, but also challenge yourself a little bit. Don't just play a song that, that you know, if, if, if learning the song is going to get you to play guitar, great, do it. But don't stop there. Like, you know, learn a little bit. You know, learn, learn why those chords fit together so well. I mean, a lot of people are quick to just learn a chord shape and then know that that's the chords to the song, but then they're, they're also not training their ear enough, okay? And that really gets on to, to level four. Okay, we're getting into, we're getting into number four. is going to be train your ear. Do not accept the quick gratification. See, when I was a young guy and I was getting into guitar, we didn't have YouTube and we didn't have all these things where you could just go on and get instant gratification. I mean, I learned how to play guitar before tablature existed and all that. Okay, so it, for me it was, you know, if I heard a riff on the radio or if I heard a guitar riff, I had to figure it out. And training your ear and just kind of listening and training is a really big part of learning the guitar, is don't be afraid to train your ear a little bit. And that ear training can just come down to getting a natural a natural sort of ear for listening to the guitar in music. If there's a weird chord or something that you can't figure out, you know, like you listen to a guy going you know, making some weird sounds or, or something. Learn how to pick a chord apart. Listen to the, you know, play it over and over again and listen before you accept that instant gratification to go out and just look up a tutorial on YouTube of how to play a certain song. That's great. Maybe you're a professional musician already that needs to learn how to play a song in time for the gig that night and it was a last minute thing you added to the set list. All right, fine. Go on YouTube and learn it. But for someone who's new and upcoming and they're real young and they're real, trying to learn how to play guitar, in my opinion, the right way, you should have a balance of theory, ear training, as well as ultimately learning the stuff you want to learn on guitar. You want to be a country player? Learn how to play country. You want to learn five or ten cover songs and they're just simple uh, songs that have chords all up around the neck or whatever, uh, the top of the neck, these cowboy chords we call them, then fine, learn them. Uh, and that's okay. But in my opinion, what separates the mark of a master from someone who is just always going to be a student is separating those two types is the level of theory that you know and the way that you can apply it and the way that you can communicate it to other people. 
is a big part of it. Ultimately, what guitar mastery comes down to, and this is something I was never told. I had to learn this the hard way uh, just over the years. But to me, what guitar mastery is, is your understanding of music is only going to be so much. You either understand, you know... <laughs> You either understand that and that's what your ear, like you hear that and you understand that musical movement. You know what goes along with it, right? Or you're the kind of guy who your understanding might be a little bit more along the lines of, you know. That's weird, right? May not work for everybody. If your mind can't comprehend what's going on there, what those root notes are, where they might go, the theory that relates to weird chords or jazz chords and how they might come together, then it doesn't matter if you learn it anyway because if your mind can't comprehend the, the music you're listening to, you, you have to be able to think in the language. Music and guitar music is a language. So the fifth thing, what I'll add in for a new guitarist or, or people that are new, that I feel is important, is also to develop your ear by listening to as many different styles of music as you can. I think that's really important. You know, don't just stop at, okay, I grew up on classic rock. Well, that's all I'm going to listen to is classic rock. No, I'm going to listen to Miles Davis, John Coltrane. I'm going to learn those jazz movements. I'm going to listen to Django Reinhardt, and I'm going to listen to like the gypsy style of jazz guitar. I'm going to listen to Joe Pass, and I'm going to learn jazz stuff. And all of those different chords and scales and voicings all give you a little bit different part of the language you can speak. So that's the biggest thing about guitar is you either want to learn the whole language or you want to learn just enough to, to, to drink beer with your buddies and play basic stuff or do you want to be able to go uptown and go talk to the masters and that's a big part of it. You have to, you have to decide if you're going to go if you, are you going to go down the rabbit hole and really learn like immerse yourself in every single thing that there is to know about guitar and, and master the instrument or are you just looking to hang out with your buddies and, uh, and have fun on the weekends and play a couple of little bar gigs and hang out or whatever? And that's okay too. Playing an instrument should, should matter to you personally. It should be something that you want to do for a specific reason. Look, you want to learn an instrument to get the girls? Learn an instrument. Learn enough that you need to learn to do what you need to do. If that's, if that's your goal, then do it. But that's the, I guess the, the last thing in the video is have a goal. Set a goal and understand what you're really getting at. And I think you'll find that if you mix, if you have a good mixture of book knowledge and fretboard knowledge, as well as music theory, and guys, music theory is not just guitar. Music theory is music, period. Knowing, uh, you know, what makes up a composition of a chord. Uh, you know, where you can move them on the neck. And, it's, and again, it's not even a guitar thing. If I'm talking to a piano player and I tell him, yeah, I want you to do a, uh, we're going to do kind of a mix up on a one, four, five, we're going to do it in G minor. You know what that is? But with a little bit of theory, you can understand real quickly where to take that and what to do with it. Or if you want to learn the Nashville number system, or if you want to learn how to read music, all of those things, I guess the important thing to take away from this video is that they are a discipline. Playing guitar is a discipline which has to be mastered. You're not going to be given anything for free. There's nothing free on this fretboard. Everything that there is to know is right here on this fretboard. It's right here in the open. It's on every single guitar you pick up. It's just how you put it all together and how you learn it that matters. And I would say that a lot of people that are getting into guitar, that's going to be the best thing that they can do is to try to have a good mixture of music knowledge in terms of theory as well as technical prowess and working on technique. So guys, hopefully this video made some sense to you. If you're new at guitar or if you're looking to get into guitar, Share this with somebody that you know is wanting to play guitar because I feel at these points, they took me years to learn. So maybe I can help somebody overcome a lot of um, frustration getting into this thing right out the gate. So maybe if they follow some of my tips, that will allow them to become a more well-rounded guitarist as they mature as a guitarist and have a little bit more focused uh, view in terms of how they approach the instrument. So guys, hopefully this made sense to you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, we post every Monday and Friday. Make sure you tune in. We've got many more videos on the way. Thank you guys so much for the support. Is there something I left out in this video that I should have put in there? Let me know in the comment section below. 
Or is there something that you want me to cover specifically? You're a new guitarist and you want to learn something specific? Let me know and maybe I can make a special video just for you and teach you exactly what you want to know. So guys, thank you and we'll see you next time.